Now where might we be headed? After all of that upper hogs field, we could definitely use a cell. Let's head over there. Probably make it there in like 15 seconds. Faster than we could close out all of these windows. We'll take but a but but the stir of a wand. Get us over there. Oh, okay. It's actually, uh... Well, you do go where you're pointing, but again, kind of locked to a... Locked to a plane. Really able to shift, but again, eh, it's tactile in its own way. Kind of works. Kind of works just when you're racing. It can be a little bit, a little bit strange, a little bit counterintuitive for your fingers to be working on. Wow, look at all those guys down there! Wow, a lot of stuff down there. A lot of stuff down there. Okay, let's get back to walking around. Tend to miss too much stuff. Charming Hamlet. Don't tell the residents of Lower Hogsfield I said that. Oh, it's the same lady. Okay. Might start to believe you now on that. What was that? A warning? Dug bog. It might be a dug bog. Right, one of those before? Lumos. Beaumont should have returned by now. Had by dark wizards he was. Excuse me, did you say something about Bardolf Beaumont? I did. I don't think we've met. I'm Dorothy Sprottle. I was just worrying about Claire Beaumont's brother Bardolf. Only he's gone missing. Rumor is he was seen in the forest practicing dark magic. Saw him myself near some ruins with Rookwood's lot I did. I fear he got himself into trouble with the Ashwinders, especially if he made them a promise he couldn't keep. I'd help search for him myself, but no one will risk encountering Ranrock's loyalists. They seem to be everywhere. Do you think Bardolf may have simply run off? No. Bardolf's run that shop with Claire his entire life. He'd not give it up for anything. He swore he'd be back in a fortnight. My instincts are that he's been held captive, or worse. Why would Bardolf want to get involved with the Ashwinders? Oh, he had a terrible run-in with Ranrock's loyalists. Changed him. He vowed never to feel powerless again. I think he sought the Ashwinders out to learn their secrets. Victor Rockwood, at least, seems somehow immune to Ranrock's loyalists. I can certainly look out for him. Any help would be appreciated. You might speak to Claire first. Perhaps she has some insights that I don't. I can tell you that Bardolf was last seen in the forest wearing a particular woolen jumper. One that Claire knitted herself. Claire will be at her shop if you'd like to speak with her. Uh, so, I mean, you're telling me that specifically? Revelio. Oh my god, don't be annoying. My gear slots are full. You don't have a merchant in this town? It's actually kind of unbelievable. Use some rolls. See that poster? Not non legible. Who's that? Yep. Looks like a baby. It's like a four year old or something. Do you have Claire? I couldn't help but overhear 
Did you mention Ranrock's loyalists? I did. <sighs> Never imagined they'd act this deadly. I'm Claire Beaumont, by the way. Nice to meet you. Ranrock and his followers have set up camp here. No regard for our beloved Hamlet or our livelihoods. Ruthless. My brother Bardolf dared to stand up to them and ended up in St. Mungo's. I'm simply at my wit's end. How did your brother Bardolf end up in St. Mungo's? <sighs> Bardolf had spent the entire day hand-picking herbs and roots for us. When a group of Ranrock's lot appeared and demanded the harvest for themselves, Bardolf refused. In their anger, they held him against a rock and robbed him. The moment he left St. Mungo's, he vowed revenge. I worry he may be dabbling in magic that he will one day regret. You said Ranrock's loyalists have set up camp here. Where, precisely? To the south, across the river. Last I heard, there were several loyalists in each camp. I won't go near them. Ah, uh, so that's who we ran into. Why don't you simply leave the area for now? Upper Hogsfield is my home. Baldolf and I grew up here. No, we are standing firm. Once my brother returns, then we shall decide what to do next. He's gone to seek Victor Rookwood's advice. I didn't approve of that idea, but perhaps in the end it will help. You know that there's centaurs running around. I mean, I think they're uh, they're pretty much against those dudes. I'm unfortunately quite familiar with Ranrock's loyalists. Perhaps I can do something. <sighs> much as I would love to be rid of them, I wouldn't want you to risk injury or worse. Please be cautious. That's my middle name. You not have to live in fear. This is our home. You're right about that. You're right about that. Madam Beaumont, might I speak with you? Yes, what about? Mrs. Sprottle told me a little about your brother's disappearance. Oh, dear Dorothy. She'd go looking for Bardolf herself if she could. She mentioned dark magic in even the Ashwinders. Despite my repeated warnings, Bardolf's been experimenting with dark magic near the edge of the forest. I thought perhaps he'd get it out of his system and it would gradually stop. But then one day, he didn't come home. I'm surprised they didn't turn the, the music off during this. Is there anything your brother took with him that might help to track him down? Hmm, only his satchel, journal, and a woolen jumper I knitted for him. That's all I can recall. Could Bardolf have run off? No, he'd never leave me here alone. He did speak of going to talk with Victor Rookwood. That worries me almost more than his attempts at mastering dark magic. Rookwood is as dangerous as Ranrock, in my opinion. We'll find out. I'll let you know if I see or hear anything about him. <sighs> Thank you. How kind. I'd be so grateful to learn where he is. I know in my heart he's out there. Do be careful. Yes, you please. Have a sale? You gotta sell. Adolf, where are you? I'll not Ahem. give up hope. Thunderbrew. Mongrel fur. Uh, I feel like we have that. Maxima. I'm gonna buy them just oh, because. Like that. Choice. We don't get the chance. Yeah, why not? We have plenty of items to sell here. Marvelous. I could always use more of these. There's no sell all button. Yeah, that was that was nice. But whatever. Scarecrow? Like we okay. That's out. Extraordinary. Why is that if it sucks? 
Alright, so we've got to sell those things and rearrange them, but we could do that later. Thank Not you at your you expense. Me. Just have to do the necessary... necessities there. It seems as though things are getting worse. Best be on my guard. Still don't have an unlock. We get one house that we can raid. Eat some of their peanuts. Rebellion. Always like when somebody treats their house like a bar. Come um, get some free peanuts. Dorothy, how oh would you turn your head around Excuse like me, that? Mrs. Brottle. I was scared. Any news on Bardolph Beaumont's disappearance? Afraid not. I've spoken with Claire, still worried sick about her brother. He was last seen heading towards the forest with one of Victor Rookwood's lot. Okay. That doesn't change from what I've heard. That's that's appropriate. The information I have received. Thusly. Rebellion. Come now, don't be stingy. Now this lady apparently is hoarding some loot behind her. We're really interested in that. Apparently not able to get it. Oh my god. It'd be so weird about it. It's so strange. In the fight and I. Strange way to word if that if that's a pair of gloves. It's like one of the most strangest ways. Well, the hand item. Ugh. Yeah, I don't want to blow that up. These people have beer here. They have something they're drinking. I mean, that would be very foolish of me. Have the town be very upset. Destroyed all that delicious, delicious beer. Uh, how, how, how did that not clear it? Oh, that, that works. This massive chest face item. What's up with the phrasing on? Oh, 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 are you telling me that's like a... You can climb up there? Can take our broom out? Cannot take our broom out. Whoa, is right, man. I don't think we're gonna get up there. I don't think there's... There's nothing up there. We did miss... Bag, somehow. Is that on the other side of the wall? Oh no, that's just like camouflaged. Okay, I thought we could go up there. There's nothing up there. Okay. That makes me feel better. Just, 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 just get down there, my friend. Oh no, that's so annoying when they work like that. Gosh, dude. You could actually learn how to get down the ladders, alright? You wouldn't have to dive off of them like that. Oh! Wow, forgive my expressiveness, but... I don't know why this guy is so... Flipping to just jump off of ledges like that, and then the minute I want him to actually take a dive somewhere, it's just not happening. All right, what's going on with this thing here? Blue. All right. Rebellion. That was loot, I guess. I mean, is there still loot on it? I think that's cleared now. Alright. Now I, I just completely lost what I was doing. There's stuff going on. Just looting these people's houses. Coming through. Coming through this place, leave your doors unlocked. Coming to check it out. 
Make sure you got anything worth taking. Definitely gonna come in through the back door. What's that? That's a field guide page. Somewhere. Revelio. Somewhere. What is this? Pumpkin Fizz is a fashionable carbonated drink with a pumpkin flavor. It has yet to become as popular here as butterbeer, but one never knows. Pumpkin Fizz. Look at that. Pumpkin Fizz. That'd be interesting. Pumpkin Soda. Tastes Rebellion. disgusting. That's locked up. This lady's got her stuff locked up. So at this point, everything's locked up. We emptied the town out. Everybody who had their stuff unsecured now belongs in my care. And there. Alright. 